Hi, I'm Cynthia for Our Beats Cafe and I'm so happy today because I have Candy Cooper with me. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for coming again. It's always fun to come be at artbeats.com. Oh, thank I love it you. Here. We love you coming here. <laughs> and we, we're having so much fun. <laughs> Too and much fun, maybe. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we won't say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Yes, well, you're showing some beautiful Dakota stone. They came in a pendant set. Okay. And it's 11 pieces, and you did some amazing, amazing example. And at the end of the video, Candy will show us also how she's finishing this beautiful necklace that we have on the table. Yeah. So, do you want to start I'm talking ready. about your pieces? Yes. Let's so start with the small one. Let's start design. Okay, so when you get these focal pendants, they come just strung on a card, and they're already in a beautiful tapered set. Mm -hmm. They're so user friendly. I paired this one with some of your Swarovski blends. These are just little That's four beautiful. millimeter Swarovskis yes. with this piece separated by metal spacers. So easy. And that's it. Done. It's like what, 20 minutes project, maybe. right? Yeah, maybe. A great weekend or evening project even. Right. Now let's say you want to get a little bit more over the top, mm -hmm. really take your design mm -hmm. to the next level or whatever. Okay. Then we, I did this piece. And this piece is like, this is me in a yes, jewelry it piece. Is. This <laughs> is like a little bit vintage, a little bit bohemian. Right. I, a lot of stuff hanging off. <laughs> A lot of stuff hanging off of it. But so it's still Beautiful. using really basic beginner mm -hmm. techniques like opening a jump ring, a little wire wrapping. Right. So I strung, I, I split the pendant up, which is like one of my favorite things to do. I split this pendant set mm -hmm. up. I used the three center pieces hung off of this vintage focal with some vintage chain. And then on the sides, I paired it with some Swarovski, some mm -hmm. little glass beads, more Dakota stones, more vintage. And then this piece, you can double it up with the, um, I can't remember, the beaded chain and the, right, the bead links, the bead link mm -hmm. chain, and then um, you can wear it as a layering piece or wear it right. short. Doesn't matter. That's Fringe. Amazing. Love it. Oh, I love it. How you <laughs> Shocker. How you did with the focal piece like that. I never thought about doing this and just hanging the stone. This is really beautiful. Right. So maybe even, you know, this, these projects are going to be on the website, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So you can go straight to artbeats.com for the inspiration. But even this piece, like with the design done, mm -hmm. an hour, yeah. hour and a half maybe. Yes. That's Done. true. Thank you. It is really beautiful. Thank you. And then this is a fun one too here. Okay, so Sporty Spice. <laughs> this is like my Sporty Spice piece. But, you know, this piece, um, the colors are bold. Maybe mm -hmm. you want to make a little bit more casual piece. Right. I strung this up with some um, um, Leather Cord USA Leather. Mm -hmm. Blew the leather into the um, findings and away you go. Yes, I love how you did here the little loop and then you have a, a seed bead loop too. Yeah, that's just when you string your focals up, you end it with a crimp bead on either side, string a row of crimp beads, wrap it back through and crimp to make that yeah. nice loop that connects to the leather. That is so great. Thank you. That's yeah, beautiful. so easy. So yes. that's the thing. Like. With these designs, I mean, I think like the world is your oyster. You can have mm -hmm. it super simple or like here's another one that I split up with the copper vintage. This is artisan copper. I love it. <laughs> and I paired it with your funky leaf chain. Yes. Um, another simple strung one. Here's one, one framing that centerpiece. Mm -hmm. So many different ideas. And you can just hop over to the website to see yes. the instructions. Yes. They will all be on our design studio. So, okay, you made this beautiful piece here and you need to finish it, right? You need to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, no. no um, so, yeah, so this is just like really simple stringing at mm -hmm. its finest. I loved this piece. I can't remember what, the, like a squash blossom, modern squash blossom right. type charm. So, this is a choker length. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just end it with a crimp tube, like so. And then we're going to pull in a wire guardian. You know, I always forget to use those. The wire guardian? Yes. I know, um, because we're excited to put the piece on. <laughs> and it's just we like crimp it, finish. wear yeah. it. Yeah, I know. But I don't know. It's probably easier to show you this way. But these are actually tubes on either side mm -hmm. of this horseshoe shape. You run your wire in, out through the other side. Don't crimp it yet. You still need to attach one end of your clasp. Right. into that loop. And what this does is it literally does guard your wire. Sometimes you have to pull a little bit so that the piece 
the um, wire guardian opens up, just pinch it back closed, mm -hmm. no big deal. But now, as you're wearing that, yes. you're out at the music festival, <laughs> dancing the night away. It's not going anywhere. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna be protected yeah. with your wire guardian. And it really gives a nice finish, also. It looks really professional mm -hmm. and clean. Yes. Um, because sometimes, let's face it, that little piece of wire sitting on the clasp um, looks vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, it's those finishing details that really set your work apart, I always say. I think so. So now I'm sliding the crimp tube over both ends of wire. And it's time to crimp. You can see I just snugged it right up. Mm -hmm. This is also nice because it ensures that you're finding you well, can't choke out your fine, you know, because sometimes if you slide that crimp tube yes. super close, you choke, you know, not on purpose. So it's, good for beginners, too, when you're trying to teach them, you know, like how how yeah, much space true. do I leave? Mm -hmm. So now we're working on that inside opening of the plier. I call it the macaroni shape. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to turn that crimp tube so that it's 90 degrees and it mm -hmm. makes a C. And right. we're moving to the eye-shaped opening in your crimping pliers, folding it over, and then I like to move it to the very, very end and give it just and a little smush. Yeah. I feel like everybody has their own crimping techniques. I think so. And then I'm trimming this, leaving a couple millimeters of wire mm -hmm. showing. And then you're just going to slide all of your pieces down. Doesn't that look so good in there? It is. I also love these uh, home pieces. I think it's great. It's so good. Sometimes if the bead hole is large enough, you can tuck the end. I know you already know all this stuff, but just in case. Yes. Um, is the bead too small maybe? The bead might be just a touch right. too small. And if that happens, forget it. You got other things to do. Just <laughs> slide, it, <laughs> slide it. Don't overthink it. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It happens to all of us. And then you're just going to slide it all over to the other side and repeat, snug it up, yeah. and away you go. And that's it, yeah. And, and just, just to um, say you just cut this little piece of wire because you don't want it to uh, poke you. you. Yes. I'm going to do it right now. Use the flush side of your cutters so that you can get as close as possible. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's it. That's it. Finish, and, uh, finish one in and repeat for the other. Yes. I'm going to oh, do thank that. thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, you say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really pushed me again to think about those um, wire, um, how do you call these again? Wire guardians. Wire, uh, wire guardians. Okay. It's, it's difficult so, to say. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and just think about really splitting up those pendant focals. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this. Yes. I can't wait to see what they make. Yes, that's true. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, thank Candy, you. for coming today. Please come back. I will. Okay. I can't, yeah, I'll invite myself like I always do. <laughs> Anytime. Well, thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to get all our promotion, see Candy again, and all our ideas. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye.